on today, amen. We came into the house of worship. The Bible tells us, as I enter into the gate, huh? let us enter in with thanksgiving in our heart, amen. We got something to thank God for, amen. My Lord, my Lord. We serve a mighty, mighty God, amen. You might as well shake yourself loose up. Huh? Oh, this morning, shake yourself. What? The enemy come to 
bring division between you and your friends. The enemy come to bring division against your own self. Amen. The enemy come to bring distraction. His main objective is to kill, steal, and destroy. So if you see a good relationship going on with the family members, what he'll begin to do, the one that is the weakest, not just the weakest leader, because the enemy will use whomever he pleases. So it don't even matter if you're a bishop. It don't even matter if you're a pastor of a church or anything. Huh? It don't even matter if you're a, a deacon on the, on the deacon board or a mother board. The end of you, whomever, he pleases for one thing about it. Paul is letting us go right here. When the enemy come in like a flood, God begin to raise up a standard. Amen. He'll begin to raise up a standard against the enemy. Paul begin to let them know I need for you to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. There it is right there. So the next time you have a problem that come up, just know that it ain't your mama that's mad with. Know that it ain't your sister that's mad with. Amen. The Bible told us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. So this man, I'm not wrestling it against you. Hallelujah. But see what the end is, job is. He wants me to be mad with you. And he wants you to be mad with me. Amen. Uh, the witches and the warlocks. I don't know if you believe in a sorcerer. I don't know if you believe. 